So before we get into exercises, the first thing we want to do is talk about proper form. I know a lot of times you're out there and people say form is not everything, but form is everything because form, without proper form, you can actually hurt yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through proper form before we do the exercise. I want you to play, pay close attention to what we're getting ready to do because this is important not only for what we're getting ready to do, but for you out there. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is jumping jacks. Jumping jacks is so important because it's a breathing exercise and you're actually leaving your feet. Um, so it's important that if you have any knee problems or you have any problems of breathing or you have asthma, you actually want to take your time. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a proper form jumping jack and we're going to get, we're going to do about 10. So we're going to do about 10. Um, actually we do the 10, we're going to rest and we're going to do 10 more. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to look up. So when you're jumping up, you want to look up because breathing is really important. If you was actually looking down, okay, it would be harder for you to breathe. So when you're jumping up in the air, you want to ox use your oxygen to breathe up, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, Karen, is we're going to jump up in the air and we're going to breathe. All right, come back down. Good. Okay, we're going to do this a little faster. So when you're jumping up, I don't want you to look forward. I want you to look up and count as 10. Ready and go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring it down. Good. I want you to take a deep breath, okay? Again, we want to do that again, but this time when you're doing it, right, I want you to go with your body, okay? So when you're coming down, okay, you're not breathing, mm -hmm. but when you're coming up, you're breathing, okay? Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, Karen. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna do traps. The reason why I had Karen to do jumping jacks and breathing up is because traps is the same thing we use in your trap muscle. All right, where's your traps at? These are your traps. They're real little muscles. They, they separate your shoulders from your neck. And we wanna do them right because it's kind of like an up roll, but you're still hitting your trap. Some guys in the, in the gym will call it up row. I'm hitting your traps because you're bending your elbow and you're squeezing your traps. Very important that when you're doing an exercise, you kind of want to concentrate on the exercise that you're doing. Sometimes we lose focus and we all over the place, but this time we're going to do it real slow and we're going to do about 10. So Karen, you want to pick up the weights? All right, the first thing that Karen want to do is he want to make sure that the weights is really close together, okay? and she want to control and contract with her arms first. So her arm is actually going to lead the exercise. Usually people think the hands are leading the exercise, but we're going to use Karen elbows. So Karen is looking at elbows to traps, okay? She's not going to use her shoulders. She's going to use elbows to traps. So basically, is she's going to try to take the elbow and touch her trap, and we're going to try to do 10. So let's do it together. Ready and go. Squeeze. One, two, good. Three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which was exercise. That was excellent. Good job, Karen. Okay. Um, another thing, well, we're going to turn around. I'm going to show you what's the areas that you're working on. So I'm going to have Karen turn around because a lot of times you don't have the mirror. Mirror's only facing you. You don't really have a mirror behind you. So let's just say, let's just go to the back. So Karen is turning around. Again, as you see, Karen, Karen has a nice back. These are called her Ramboy's muscles. These are your traps, okay? This is your elbow again. So what Karen's going to do this time is Karen's going to squeeze to herself, and she's probably going to give maybe a one to two squeeze before she goes down, okay? Karen, let's try this again. Ready and go. Good. Again. Good. See the traps? Good. Ramboy's. Good. Slow it down, Karen. And squeeze. Good. And squeeze. And one more. And excellent. And drop down. Okay. So now she's relaxing. Great, Karen. You want to turn around? So what you just did was you just did traps. Um, a lot of times you're out there and you say, well, why do I need traps? Most men have traps. But as you see, Karen is have traps because ladies out there that want to wear that nice reps, you want to have these traps. 
okay? This is it's good for your neck. You don't want just a straight neck, a long neck. You want to have some definition. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do back. Why is back is so important? Because it's still connected to the lat and to the ramboy and to the trap, okay? So Karen is going to come down. Okay, really important again, Karen is going to lead with her elbows. A lot of times we use wrong form and the reason is because we are all over the place. So Karen is going to use proper form. She's going to go very slow and this is actually going to be 10. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And what we're gonna do, Karen, now, we're gonna turn to the side, okay? We're gonna bend down. Okay, you're gonna bend down a little bit more. All right, as you see, Karen line to her back, okay? This is a spine area from top to bottom, from bottom to top. And what Karen wanna do is she wanna actually squeeze the lats. Now, we're not doing lats, but when you're doing back, lats play a big part of it, okay? I know when every time I'm actually doing back, um, you know, I need strong lats. Uh, we're not gonna do lats today, but you're still gonna get about maybe 30% of your lats, but we actually concentrating on the back. So what Karen wanna do is Karen wanna bring these elbows up and she wanna be parallel right to her back and she wanna squeeze. And Karen's gonna give me about 10. And ready and go. One, good. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what Karen, what we want to do is we want to do it a little bit slower. We want to squeeze the back. Um, a lot of times when you're out there, and I know Karen, I know you're going to be in a position for a second, but when you're out there and you're actually doing back, um, you want to contract the muscle. Contracting the muscle is very important. Why? Because you want the muscle to have muscle memory. A lot of times we go so fast that the muscle don't record what we're doing and then you just be all over the place. So right now we're not going to be all over the place if you're at home and you're looking at this um, DVD. What we want to do is we want to take Karen elbows to the lats and what we want to do is we want to balance them out, Karen, okay? So we want to do this and squeeze it back. So I'm gonna put my hand right here. So Karen is actually gonna be squeezing two of my fingers so to know that she's executing the muscle. And we want 10, ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, you wanna stand up, Karen. I know you've been in that position for a little while. Mm -hmm. That was an excellent back exercise. So when you're at home and you're taking your time to do this, it's really important, do not run through your exercise, okay, guys? If you, if you pace yourself and you wanna do a 20 minute workout, do a 20 minute pacing yourself, okay? Never rush to do a workout. If it's that important to you, if something is more important to you than working out, go do that and come back and let's do a proper form. Okay, the next step we're gonna do is shoulders. Shoulders are very important. Um, we just wanna, is, you, she just finished doing back, she did trap, so we wanna round it off with the shoulders. So the first thing Karen wanna do is bring their arms up. Okay, a lot of times um, people drop their elbows. What we wanna do is we wanna level out the elbows, we wanna bring it up, all right? Good proper form. All right, Karen, we wanna open up, good. And what we wanna do is 10. Now when you're doing that, what we wanna do is when Karen close, we wanna be able to close and open up. It's like having a scissors, okay? So let's do 10, and what I want you to do is gently touch the dumbbells together and come right back down. Ready, and 10, and go. One, good. And two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and we're gonna bring it down. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Um, sometimes when you not in a, in a mirror and you're doing shoulders, we're looking up. So right now what we wanna do with Karen, if I was doing a shoulder press, I wanna look up. Okay, why, why do I wanna look up? The first thing I wanna do is pull no muscles, okay? Because we're going up, the elbow, the hands is going up, the elbow's going up, I, we just finished doing jumping jacks. So I wanna keep the muscle and muscle memory all right, we don't want to confuse the muscle. So Karen, what we're going to do this time is we're going to go back to the same form, 
okay? And what we want to do is we want to turn the head up or look up, all right? And we're pressing up, okay? And we want to do this again. Karen is level out. And we want 10. Ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six. Look up. Seven, turn it. Eight, good. Nine, one more. And 10, you want to bring it down. And that complete the exercise. First exercise we're gonna do is cardio. Cardio is so important as I tell you through all the exercise because you wanna warm up, okay? So we're gonna warm up first. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna keep our hands and our knees in sequence, okay? Same way if you was actually running in the park. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a count of 20, okay? Now when you're running, proper form should be bringing your hands up, all right? Because your hands pace your legs, okay? So we wanna try to do 20, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you want to relax. You always want to take a deep breath after you finish doing cardio, okay? So you want to breathe, okay? The next exercise we're going to do is triceps, okay? So you want to pick the weights up and you want to turn around. Okay, so you want to come down. Okay, so good form, guys. I know a lot of times people do triceps and they say, you know, they mix it up and they get it wrong. The first thing you want to do is bend down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You want to bring your elbows up. Okay, so you want to concentrate on your tricep. Okay, muscles. Um, what I like to do is think about your skin. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to do about 10 and we want to come straight out, Adrian. All right, you want to look forward first. And exactly, look at the ski. We're skiing right now, right? We want 10. Ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you want to stand up. Okay, that was proper, all right? Um, someone that really like doing arms. Um, she has no problem with doing that. So let's say for you out there saying, well, you know what? I do have a problem with my arm and I really can't do that. So the next thing you wanna do, you wanna come down, you wanna come down again. Mm -hmm. And this time, okay, this is, will help you. You wanna bring the weights up here a little bit and kick all the way back, okay? If, exactly. But now, for those who out there may have some injuries, you wanna bring your body up just a little bit, okay? And now what she want to do is she want to kick all the way back, okay? And this is, she's going to give a count of 10. This is not the proper way to do it, but again, I would take 80% than doing it not at all, all right? So ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, nice muscle. Five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, and 10, excellent. Okay, that was good. We're gonna turn around, okay? Um, the next exercise we're gonna do is bicep. Biceps is in front of your arms, ladies, okay? A lot of times you guys complaining about um, your arms being a little bit more flabby. Um, and I hate to use that word, but out of shape. And we wanna get them in shape. We want a real round muscle in the front as we want the round muscle in the back, okay? So usually we wanna hit both of them on the same days. Some people say hit one and then hit it the other day. We wanna do them together, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna bring the arms, keep the elbows in front of you, okay? And we wanna squeeze the muscle. Now, this arm is a little bit longer, so we wanna get the whole extent of the muscle. We don't want short curls, we want long curls, all right? So what we wanna do is we wanna give 10 and you're gonna bring them up to your shoulders. Ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to turn around, so I want to show the viewers the muscle. Okay, so we want to do that again. It's really important, guys, that if you're out there and you're doing this, okay, 
you want to breathe too. In every exercise, you always want to breathe, inhale and exhale. Why? Because it feeds oxygen to the muscle. So we want to do it again. We want to bring the elbows in front. Okay, we want to do another 10. Ready and go. One, good. Two, good. Three, four, slow it down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. And you want to relax. Okay, that was the proper way to do this. I'm going to do another set out there because, again, arms are so important. But this time, if you do have an injury and you say, hey, I can't do that whole extension thing. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to just get the muscle just to put some blood in there. So the first thing that Adrian is going to do is she's going to bring the arms in front. Okay. Okay. Now, she's going to go halfway up. Okay. Halfway up is, you know, is going to be better for you to go halfway than no way. Okay. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to come into a negative and we're going to come down one and come down and go two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more champ and 10. And you want to bring it down short range of motion. Excellent. So we're going to put the weights down. Okay, um, the next exercise we're going to do is abs. Okay, so we want to lay down on the mat. Now, normally, we're going to have a few sets of abs. Um, we're going to do about three different, ex three different abs exercise. So this way, if you have a bad back, um, if the back is bothering you, um, if the legs is a little heavy because I get a lot of um, people are saying, well, my legs are so heavy, my, weight, my legs weigh um, more than my whole body. So what we want to do is we want to put the hands under the glutes. Okay. Now, we want to make sure that the toes is always pointed out. We want to bring the toes, um, feet off the mat, and we want to bring your head forward. Okay. And the first thing we want to do is we want to execute the abs. So we want 10. Ready and go. One, and breathe. Two, good. Three. Four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. And we want to relax. We want to relax. Bring it down. Okay? So, we just hit the long abs. So, we hit the top, the bottom, and the middle. Okay? Very important. Now, for those who has bad, I mean, a bad back, what we want to do is you want to take your hands from under your, your glutes, bring your hands up, and we want to bend your knees. Bend your knees, okay? So if you do have a bad back, okay, and it's like, well, I really can't do this type of exercise. What we want to do is bring your hand in front of, behind your neck, and we want to do crunches, okay? Now, we can do crunches with the knees, but again, you have a bad back. So the first thing we want to do is we want the shoulders just to leave off the mat, and we want about 10. Ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. And you want to relax, okay? So, this if you have a bad back out there, you want to actually do them abs. The next exercise is we're going to do. Um, abs with your knees okay so them ladies out there that are complaining about their legs is too heavy okay um and this is going to help you to modify your abs so what we want to do is we want to bring your knees in front and we want to come all the way up okay and we want 10 of them ready and go up one good bring the knees to you two as you see her hands is helping her three her legs and them heavy legs is pushing her forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more chap. And ten. Good job. So we're finished with this exercise. Thank you. Let's go. Up. Ah.
exercise is going to be legs. Legs are so important. Why? Because it helps build your core. Um, ladies love, they want to be in them nice jeans. And so what we're going to do is three legs exercises that will help you to fit into them nice jeans. Okay. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is warm up. Always warming up is always good things to warm the glutes, the calves, the hams. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to warm up and count is going to be 20 and go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Um, what we just did was a warm up. And what now what we're gonna do is do corrective exercise on a warm up, okay? So we're gonna go through this exercise one more time, and this time we're gonna change it a little bit. So what I want you to do is when you're doing, when you're hopping over, all right, and you're coming over, you wanna reach, you wanna reach, you wanna reach, okay? You wanna stretch the hips out as much as you possibly you can. You have long legs. So out there, if you have longer legs, you wanna get a longer jump. If you have shorter legs, you can get a shorter jump. But we working with long legs right now, so let's do it one more time. And this time we wanna do 10, all right? Ready and go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you wanna relax. Okay, she just did that. Um, to get the hips into it. You're not gonna be perfect every single time, but again, it's just a warm up. Legs is really important. Um, practice make perfect, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do jumping squats, okay? Um, jumping squats, we wanna leave um, maybe an inch off the floor, okay? Now, we're gonna go two different jumping exercises. So if you have a knee problem and you say you can't bend down, this low, I'm going to modify it for you. For the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come all the way down, bring the hands behind you, mm -hmm. and 10, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you want to relax, okay? Again, we're working with longer legs, so if you had shorter legs, you don't have to come that high off the ground, okay? The next exercise we're gonna do is the same jump and squat, okay? But this time, we're not gonna jump. We're just gonna come straight up. So we're gonna come up from here and up. Here and up. Here and up. And we want 10 of them, okay? Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was excellent. That was good. Good job. The next exercise we're gonna do is calf raises. Okay, calf raises is real important. Young ladies out there wearing them high heel shoes. Okay, so we want to turn around. Um, calf raises is really, really um, a good exercise. But what we want to do, I want to show you the calf. So let's just pull this up a little bit. All right, so the first thing I want to do is put your, bring your hands behind your head, okay? And you want to look up. You want to look up because you're pointing the calves is going up, okay? And the first thing we want to do is we want to get a nice 10, okay? We want to bring the leg out straight, straight, straight. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to relax, okay? Keep your hands there. We was doing that a little bit too fast, so we want to slow it down. You always want to squeeze the calf area because the calf um, has connected to your Achilles tendon, okay? So you want to get that Achilles tendon to stretch as much as possible, okay? So we want to do it a little slower now, and we want ten, okay? Look up in the air. Ready and go. One. Two, hold it. Three, down, up. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, you wanna turn around? The next exercise is gonna be lunges, okay? Um, for ladies out there, you may have a bad knee, uh, you may have a good knee, so that we don't do corrective exercises on the lunges and then we're gonna modify it for you. All right, the first thing we wanna do, we wanna step out, we wanna use our left leg to step out. Okay, you have to be real confident um, when you're actually doing lunges, okay? Because sometimes you may get a little balance um, and you may lose your balance and that's okay. If you wanna be able to hold on to something, hold on to a wall, just to kinda like give you a little bridge, you can do that. But we're gonna not hold on to a wall right now, we're gonna do a straight lunge. And we wanna do five on each leg and, if, and we wanna start, hands at the side, ready and go. One, and back up, good. Two, three, four, five, and come up. Good, we're gonna do the next one. One, two, three, four, and five. And you wanna relax, bring your hands down. Okay, now we're gonna modify it. Again, guys, really important. Lunges, gotta keep that good balance, okay? So that balance is really important, but we don't wanna lose you with the balance. That was a good lunge, okay? The next thing we wanna do, we wanna stretch out the lunge a little bit. So now, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go sideways so you guys can see. Um, to come straight down with a knee, okay? So if you have a knee problem and you come all the way down, this knee may be really bad, okay? And you can't push up and come up, okay? So what I want you to do is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out a little bit and come right back up, okay? So we wanna turn around. And this time we wanna do a half a lunge. Again, my motto is, if I can't, I won't, if I have to do something, I'd rather do 80%. So I'm gonna take this as 80% for those who have knee problems, okay? So we wanna step out. Ready and go. One and back up. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, we wanna do that one more time and this time we wanna slow down. When you're doing your lunge, okay, you wanna always keep that back up because we don't leave that pressure on that lunge. Remember, if you have a bad knee and you lean in, all that pressure coming down. So we want to keep your body straight up in the air and we want to come down. We want to do five again. Ready and go. One, better. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, we want to turn around. Turn around. Okay, so now when we're doing that, guys, we don't want to go on our toes. Uh, you want to step in and you want to plant your foot just a little bit, okay? Remember, we're still dealing with balance. You don't want to do this. You don't want to pick your back heel up. We don't want to do that. We want to come down and we want to step in and push all the way up. Why? Because we need that leverage. We need that whole support, okay? So let's try it again and count is going to be five. Ready and go. One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, I like that, but I wanna do it again. Again, out there you may say, okay, we're doing lunges. I want you to come just a little bit deeper, okay? Because I, you know, your body is up, is a perfect form, but lean into it just a little bit with your knee, okay? Bend the knee just a little bit, the, the right knee. Ready and go. One, a little deeper. Two, better, there we go. Three, four, and five. Good job, you wanna turn around. So this was really important, legs is really important. I think those who are out there got a good leg exercise, good cardio, and um, I think that's it.